welcome to you wherever you are. We are here at this most recognisable of venues in world football. It is the Camp Nou, the proud and impressive home of FC Barcelona. And here we have Barcelona against Roma. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. to come here too. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Florenzi looking for options. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Alcacer. Rakitic. Now it's Alcacer. Dembele. Messi. Manolas goes looking. Jordi Alba cuts it out. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Away from immediate danger. Now it's Alcacer. All the way back and they start again. Gets it upfield. And it's Al Sharawi. Lorenzi shakes the shoots. Goal, Roma! Roma are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Now it's Alcacer. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Referee's given a throw. Barcelona have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. He's had a go! It's in! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! The breakaway clinical and clean, and the finish unerring. Yes, the turn and finish is to be admired, but what about the sense of urgency and desire? Roma take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Is it in? Saved only by poor finishing. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. Now the pass. El Sharawi crosses.
strictly. Dzeko hoists it high. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Messi. Roberto. That's a throw. And it's Dembele. Passes it through. Now it's Messi. Nyingalan. It'll be a throw in. And that's another throw. at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Well, the action has already resumed here. Florenzi. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Roma have it back and they can go again. Stroop, but he's gone for it! That's caused a worry or two. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. It's broken loose. Jekko turns and goes. Al Sharawi! And the volley. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Barcelona have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Perotti. It's Dzeko! Just off target. Oh, and it's such a good effort. And maybe the target really should have been hit. It so nearly came off for him. But that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Iniesta. It's come loose. Just brushed off the ball there. Gets it back. Now it's Perotti. This is Dzeko. He's hit it first time. <laughs> El Sharawi really needed everything to come together then at the precise moment. Uh, not easy. Alcacer. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. Iniesta. And it's Perotti. Perotti goes up and over. Titi does well there. Alert. Iniesta plays it forward. Now it's Messi. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Looks like a good ball through. Perotti looks to slip it through. Now looking to shoot, and more, and more, and more. And they are cruising away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. 
Roma take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. It's a good foot in there. Tries a through ball. Now the pass. And the finish! It goes to show he is human after all. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Rakitic. And it's Coutinho. Alcacer. Rakitic passes it through. Forward it goes. Chance to break. Going through. El Sharawi with a delicate ball. Dzeko's cross. Philippe Coutinho tries to get it forward quickly. Nyingalan tries a through ball. Has a pop! Lacking in accuracy. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. I think that's happened in this case. England. And it's Perotti. Perotti tries lifting it over. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Iniesta. Two minutes to be added on. Now it's Messi. Juan. Gets it back. Aimed long and direct. Iniesta. Dennis Suarez. And time is up. What a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Roma can certainly give them...